In this video, I thought it'd be cool because we are in almost June to do a essential series. And what is essential series? On essential series, we're going to be breaking down the essential route combinations that we've seen over the course of Madden 23 and really over the course of history, uh, Madden history, to be known to be effective out of the best formations in the game. So we're going to be covering uh, bunch, bunch tight end, tight, uh, U-trips, trips tight end, all the formations that uh, have a real big time upside to be used. Uh, we're going to be covering the essential route combination. We're going to do some off-meta stuff as well um, throughout the summer, so kind of keep an eye out for that. But uh, we're in the Detroit Lions playbook today, and the play we're going to be going over first is going to be PA boot over. And the reason why is because this uh, this play uh, creates one of the best route combinations from a bunch set uh, that we've seen all season long. You can apply this to bunch. You can apply this to bunch tight end. You really apply it to tight as well in a little bit of a way. Uh, but the play is PA boot over out of the gun bunch tight end formation. And the setup is we're going to streak our tight end. You don't need hot route master for this whatsoever. And we are going to slant our outside receiver. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to motion this guy to the outside and we're going to snap the ball just before he sets. That receiver will almost always beat man coverage. So if you get man coverage, that is a really good read uh, to be able to make. So what does that force the defense to do? It forces the defense to put zones over there to defend that quick slant. What that then allows us to do is have more time to then potentially be able to hit this little shallow crosser right over the middle of the field. This is a great progression also because it's an easy read for your quarterback and it utilizes the best blocking in Madden 23, which is play action blocking. The beauty of play action blocking is it's gonna pick up pretty much every blitz in the game. Even if you just block your running back, it's still going to be a play action uh, pass protection system. And then now you're gonna have time to potentially be able to hit your crossing route deep over the top of the defense. Now the best way to defend this route combination is to actually go into zone coverage um, and really specifically a double flat style of, uh, of zone defense. So it might look something uh, like this right here where they're gonna have heavy leverage in terms of being able to defend you know, your, your drag with the hard flat, the user to the hard flat. Now there will be a little opening, if you will, uh, right about here where you could actually ag that slant underneath the yellow zones. In a traditional double Mabel defense this year, really what I think teams want to be doing is you want to be double flatting to uh, the short side of the field. Not really necessarily to like the bunch side, but just to the short side of the field uh, in general, because you're going to be able to defend every flood concept to the wide side of the field anyways. So it makes a lot of sense to double flat this direction, which in turn is going to mean that you're going to be able to hit this slant late in the read just like that right there. So this deep, this this play really is a great starter play. It's a power play because you can literally run it against every defense in the game. Even if your opponent decides that they want to run some match coverage on you, this is still typically going to be a pretty good route combo for you because this drag is just going to cook the, uh, the zones. Now, the other thing that they can also do uh, to slow this down is they can try to play hard flats out of match coverage. You don't see that a ton this year, but I will talk through this. So what you'll see in this regard is now if you look at your crosser, you can kind of add back to the ball and keep that away from the KO. Another pro tip that uh, can make this a lot better, specifically against man coverage, if you're running against someone that runs a lot of man and you have the hot rub master ability, instead of using this crosser, use a slot apprentice or hot rub master uh, post route, which is gonna almost always be able to give you consistent separation against man coverage. This concept is essentially known as the cross concept. One of the things I did wanna quickly point out is this is also a version of the same basic thing. If you think about it, utilizing this out route, this out route is gonna be kind of like your drag route, then you have the post and then you have the slant, you're still attacking all three of the levels of the field over the middle of the field and that's what makes this play so special. 
I would really encourage you to add this play to your offense. And if you want to learn my entire bunch tight end offensive ebook, join the Patreon. You can click that link in the description to sign up today for just $10. It'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, a lot of which is going to be able to be utilized in Madden 24. So you can learn the concepts over the summer and then put them into practice in the Madden 24 season. You can sign up for the Patreon by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.